Have you ever felt that frustration when you create a new project that you need to import all of your media again? All of your sound, music, special effect, everything, every time on every project, over and over again. That is stupid and there is no reason why you should do that. At least that's what I thought and I investigated. Therefore, in this week, in this episode of This Week I Learned, I'm gonna talk about the power bin. The power bin is a functionality of DaVinci Resolve that allow you to share your media among all of the projects within a single database. What this means is we can now have our asset into one place in DaVinci Resolve and then we're using them on every project. To give you an example, let's jump in DaVinci Resolve. Now that we are in DaVinci Resolve, let's enable the Power Bin simply by making them available. To do so, we're gonna look for the Power Bin, and if it's not ticked on, we're gonna simply select it. Now by doing so, we've enabled our Power Bin, we can see them here at the bottom in the media page, and if I was to go into my edit page, into my media pool panel at the top here, the Power Bin will be available as well. But back to the media page. Now we need to populate that Power Bin. I've already done it on my side with some visual effect, but let's add a bit more. Here, very simply, we're gonna bring a folder and we're gonna start drag and dropping our content. For example, I've got some sound design effect that I like to reuse. I can simply drop them in DaVinci Resolve. Now, all of my clips are selected. They're not exactly where I want them to be, but I do have a trick for you. Simply right click on any of them, create a bin with the selected clip, and now all of a sudden, those clips will be under their own bin. If we go one level up and click back to the master, we will see that a bin here is being created. Let's rename this sound effect. And there we go. Now, if I wanted to do this the other way around, absolutely no problem. I can create a new bin with add bin. I can call this, for example, music. Now I can open this one and drag and drop my music like so. If I go back to master, everything is available here. Now, for the most observant of you, you've seen that my VFX one has a color. This is something I can easily adjust by selecting the color of the folder. Here, by selecting blue, I can change that color. And this is there available. I haven't found a usage, really. I think it's a bit gimmicky. But at the same time, if it's there, why not talk about it? Now, from here, you will be able to go into your timeline and simply drag and drop that clip everywhere you need it. So for example, here in my master folder, I've got my end card I like to use for every of my video. If I simply drop it, now it's there available, ready to play, and I can have the rest of my footage underneath. This is all great, but I've just set it up in this project. Now let me show you how this is available on any project. If I go into files and it's time to start a new project, which we're gonna call new project, I can, for example, drop a solid color, drag this, change the color to red, and then I can now, from my power bin, throw my end cards on top of it, and here we go uh, with that view as usual. Now, if you wonder how I've exported that clip with a transparent background, you might want to stick for the next video. I'm gonna start a series around the green screen. I've had a lot of fun with that recently. And this is how you use the power bin. Now, there are some restrictions on how you can use them. For example, you cannot have fusion composition in it, or you can have anything too fancy. But for the most of my usage, this is really great. It allows me to keep a lot of my sound design, a lot of my music, so I don't need to go and search for them anywhere. I can just have them organized in one place, always ready to be leveraged. If you're thinking of subscribing because you like this new content about how I produce my video, please don't do so. This is not needed. There is plenty of other channels that do it better. Now, I can't stop you from liking and sharing the video with your friends. Everybody likes a good tutorial, absolutely. In the meantime, I wish you a great time. I will see you in the next. That is it for today. Until next time, ciao.